Steel dominated concerts economy for 140 years. Our story begins in the 1960s, concert a thriving bustling town. The steelworks employing at its peak around 6,000 workers and massively supporting the local coal and associated ancillary industries. Happy and fondly remembered times with a strong social identity for all those who experienced them and who would enthusiastically tell their personal stories in the decades to come. Hardy, proud and working class folk who always won through the adversities thrown at them. Consul Steelworks was renationalised in 1967 at a time when coal, iron and shipbuilding were all in steady decline in Britain. British Steel was an organisation with serious problems with increasing competition from abroad. Government policy to keep employment artificially high only increased the problems for British Steel. The town was renowned for images of its tall cooling towers and other large plant looming over the rows of terraced houses. During the iron and steel era, a pull of red dust hung over the town. This was airborne iron oxide from the steel making plant. Although there was intense competition in the 1970s from both British competitors and from abroad, Concert Steelworks was making a profit in the year that it closed. Concert Steelworks had always avoided closure, even in difficult economic times. But in 1980 it was closed with a loss of 3,700 jobs, plus many more on the knock-on effect in ancillary industries. The unemployment rate in Concert became double the national average. After closure of the steelworks, the town became one of the worst unemployment black spots in Britain and it was often characterised by many of the local people at the time as the murder of a town. Unemployment eventually came down to the national average, but this was partly due to outward migration. Long-term illness became a regular occurrence for many of the proud, tough street fellow folk, unable to find suitable alternative employment. This caused emotional and mental related illness, which at the time were not fully understood, diagnosed or even reported by the victims. Depression was something you simply get over by being told, get a grip of yourself. Alcohol and drug issues were becoming the norm. Steel men and coal miners were succumbing to a deadly range of illnesses. A once proud town was hurting. In the years that followed, many of its liveliest characters retreated into themselves. Without the local agencies and support organisations that we now take for granted. Something had to be done for the community to pull itself out of the hole left by the steelworks closure. People faced their fears, the community rallied and embedded in our town's project that helped the little man who had nowhere to turn, like the mental health charity Stonham. Stonham recognised the need to rebuild lives and move people forward promoting positive mental health. When we as a town were thrown into the deep end, the only option was to sink or swim and Stonham gave us opportunities, choices and support. The hopeless were given hope. So we're here today, healing the hole that was left in our town, starting a new day in a new light. A proud people and a proud town re-establishing its identity and the things it stands for.